Hey everybody, Luna3 here again. Uh, I got my version of Gardevoir GX. Um, just kind of going to break this down as to what I play, why I play it. And then we're going to try to throw in a gamer here or there. Okay, so first off, I got 1 1 EV Sylvia Online. Um, a lot of decks nowadays are running 2 2. We saw Pablo, uh, aka Tablemon. Play a 2-2 line in, uh, I believe it's Vancouver. And he took first place. Uh, I personally don't like the 2-2 Sylvia Online because I don't really, uh, like the attachments to Sylveon after, you know, like, turn one or, like, really early game. Grand, like, late game you can, uh, Secret Spring, but, you know, at 200 HP I just not, not feeling him as an attacker. Uh, I do like the consistency of the 2-2 line, but... <clears throat> If I ever have to set up more than one, I feel I feel like I'm at a disadvantage. So I, I play the 1-1 one, one line. If it's prized, it's okay because way over at the end over here, you can see that I have uh, this Vulpix. So Vulpix actually kind of does the same thing uh, Sylveon's trying to do except for just Pokemon. Um, reason I kind of like Vulpix is if uh, I have to go second... Uh, I don't want to really be attaching to the EV for the simple basis. I kind of want to start setting up other things. So the free attack on Vulpix uh, to set up, uh, like get a Gardevoir or get my Curly is, uh, feels a lot better to me. So that's that's why I play the Vulpix. Uh, we got four routes. It's Gardevoir. Got to have four routes. Three three Gardevoir, one, one Gallade. That's just kind of standard. Some people play four Gardevoir. Uh, that's preference. Let's see. Uh, I do only play the two Curlia. Um, that's also kind of standard right now. Two, three Curlia is basically where you want to be. I play the two because I'm not too worried about Espeon for some reason. Like, it just doesn't feel like a strong enough counter to this deck to where I'm like, oh, I gotta reset my board. But, uh, yeah, so. I only have I only play the two Curlia. I do play the four rare candy to make sure I'm able to get my setups the way I want to. Uh, one one Remoraid line. Uh, this arguably could could be higher. This is such an important card to the deck. Uh, I went maybe not go full two two, but maybe like uh, maybe like in March list uh, the two one, just so you're for sure getting the Remoraid down. Uh, to set up for an auxiliary, even if it's prized after you take a prize, to get that set up. Uh, auxiliary is just so important for like the late game and mid game of this deck. Um, and then you know your three top of lele, you gotta you gotta have your top of lele to get your Bridget's. Uh, just you know whatever supporter you need at the moment, you always want this. Oddly enough, you do not want him on the bench, though. <laughs> he is, always seems to be your big, like, kind of back in the day where it was, like, kill the shaman. Uh, Tapu Lele seems to be, like, your biggest downfall sometimes. Because they, you know, they get the two prizes off him. He's fairly easy to kill, etc., etc. <clears throat> uh, we play two field blower. You know, be able to not, you know, it's field blower. It's a staple right now. We need to be able to knock the... Uh, tools off of that Garbodor, uh, knock off choice bands, um, let's see, what else is out there that you want to be doing field blowers? Uh, it's Parallel Cities, Po Towns, Po Town can hurt you a lot, uh, that's actually another reason to only play the two Curly line, you don't have to evolve so far up, up the, up the ladder. Um, one Rescue Stretcher kind of, Rescue Stretcher is just such a nice little tech, it's like, oh man, some, I just need that one card out of my discard. Let's put it in here. I'm really close to decking out. Let me throw three cards into my deck. Um, I, I just like that. Um, let's see. We got one Super Rod. Uh, this version of the deck only plays eight Fairy Energy. So the Super... I find a lot of games where if I mismanage my energy just a little bit, I'm hurting so much because I only have the eight. The Super Rod just kind of... Feels good. Um, depending on the meta, sometimes I switch the super rod out with 
Sorry, I have the hiccups. Uh, sometimes I'll switch the Super Rod out with either Mr. Mime if Ninetales uh, or Decidueye are very heavy. Or even Giratina if uh, Frogadier is real heavy. Um, the Giratina list, I actually change up a few other cards, but that's more... Um, that's really just to offset if Giratina is, gets stuck in the active. And uh, I usually switch out these two max potions in that build. So if I'm playing Giratina, I'll switch out the two max potions for an Acer Roll and a Floatstone. Um, just so I have options to either pick it up or, you know, get out the active somehow. <laughs> uh, but as, okay, so now we're, now we're into it. I do play two max potions in this deck. Um, as I was saying, uh, everybody always asks, is like, in a deck where you want the so many energies on board, why would you play Max Potion? And it's it's just so much nicer to be able to heal up all the all the damage off of my Gardevoir opposed to having to pick it up with Acerola and then re-evolve it. Um, especially only having the two Curlia. It's it just feels so nice. And you always have Twilight GX and you I, I play the Super Rod in this build. So you always have means to get your energy back. Um so in situations where you're like, you know that Gardevoir is not going to get knocked out on the kickback, it's uh, but he's got a, he's got like a decent amount of damage on him. It's kind of nice just to max potion, knock it all off, add an energy Twilight GX, all your all the stuff you need back into the deck, and then just take that one hit to just be kind of safe. But it's the easiest way to Twilight GX, in my opinion, is off of Max Potion. So you Max Potion, Twilight. That's when I feel safest to do so. Um, yeah, that's... Like, I, I hate Twilight GXing, but <laughs> sometimes you just need to, and that's, in my opinion, the best way to do it. Ultra Ball is Ultra Ball. It finds what you need when you need it. It's such a good card. Just, you know, the 4 of is standard. One of Bridget, you have to... You almost always want to have this turn one. A lot of people play the two two Bridgets. I feel just the one is safe because I don't want this anywhere outside of turn one or turn two. Um, so I just play the one. It's nice and full art. Uh, we got three Guzmas. Uh, it's, this whole format feels so reliant on Guzma uh, that you may want to go up to four, but I feel three is a nice sweet spot where it's not... It's not bogging down your supporters in hand, and it's and you still have access to them. Uh, don't feel like I need to explain the four and four and sycamore; they're standard and everything. Uh, two choice bands, you know, just to they basically equate to an extra energy to attach per turn. So you can, if you got a Gardevoir up, you can attach a DCE, a Fairy Energy, and even uh, a choice band. So that's one one twenty worth of damage attached in one turn, which is very nice. Um, any more than two just feels a little unnecessary. Gardevoir is already such a big attacker. Uh, two just feels a nice sweet spot. Now this tech, the Parallel City, feels so good in this deck. <laughs> I In almost every matchup across the board right now, Parallel City just, just does it. It's, you know, it's against Volcanion, it sets it up to where they can't fully go real wide with the Volcanians, or they gotta pick and choose what they're going wide with. Against Drompador, it's, you know, they they have to pick and choose their attackers, so, you know, they're kind of stuck with one Espeon, one Trashalanche, one Garbodor, and one Drompa, which, you know, they don't, it, it limits so many options for players. Um, you know, Bulu, they're stuck with just one, one Vickavolt, two Bulus, or one top, if they played the top of Coco, they're just, it's just so limiting for so many people, and in some situations to bench, to put bench side on yourself is actually beneficial, because, you know, uh, like I said, these Tapu Leles end up such a big target after a while, or, you know, late game, you kind of just don't want this Vulpix on your bench, because, you know, he's also a little bit of a target, you know, you're never too really worried the Vulpix is going to die, it puts him on odd prizes, whatever, but the Leles, Sometimes you just, you know, you got like two or three sin on the bench and you just don't want them there. So to be able to, you know, bench side yourself and then like field blower it away to start setting up uh, 
either an artillery or like a late game gallade. Just amazing. <laughs> this deck runs so well with Parallel City. I love it. Um, and yeah, like, and then we'll get into the energy. You know, four, four, eight. It's it's a nice sweet spot. Uh, I do miss playing nine fairy energy, but uh, I feel the one super rod is is you know kind of like adding three energy instead of you know the one. Um, and that's that's basically my build. It's not too far off of you know basically everyone's else's else's build out there. Uh, I think it's one card off of Mark's, like, Pablo's, I think, is very different, because Pablo, I think, runs the 1-1 one, one Remoraine and 2-2 two, two Sylveon, so I don't, I've actually not looked at his list, I assume he cuts the Vulpix, and, uh, probably not the Max Potions, but, you know, I don't, I, I'd have to relook at his list and try to figure out why he does what he does, but, you know, he's got his own channel, he'll play what he plays, um... You know, but this is this is the version of this deck I play. So let's let's uh, you know I don't actually don't need to save this already. <laughs> I already have it saved. So let's just kind of jump into the ladder, see if we can't get a get a game in here. <coughs> Sorry. Um, find some good background music for myself because I keep getting my videos flagged. Akutum. I actually didn't like based off the coin. Maybe we're playing like rug. I did. I'm dumb. I didn't look at the uh, what type his deck was. So we start no basics. You know he doesn't either. So you know fresh fresh slate. And they'll have to worry about mulligans. Ooh, back to back. It is. Let's see. He okay. So he's Zorark. So he's Zorak like a rock. It's a fairly aggressive deck. Um, I think we're okay with this. Um, the new Zorak GX I feel isn't placed too well against uh, Gardevoir, and Lycanroc Rock GX kind of is in a good spot to be hit by Gardevoir <laughs> at only 200 HP. So we'll, we'll. I actually haven't played against the deck, but let's see. Let's see if this works out in my favor. My hand isn't too great. You know, two choice bands. I got nothing to draw. But I do have the routes and a rare candy, so if I top deck, um, if I top deck the Gardevoir, oh, perfect, Lele. <laughs> so we're gonna Lele into Bridget. Let's see what I got here. So I got, went right past the Pokemon. So, okay, so I'm missing the Remoraid, so I don't want to go for that. I might go for Eevee. Uh, and then two Ralts, because I can just attach to the, yeah, okay, so we're going to grab Eevee, and we're going to grab two Ralts. Bummer we don't got the, the Remoraid, but it's okay. So Bridget, Eevee, Ralts, Ralts. And then we're going to attach the Fairy Energy to Eevee, so we can just, uh, you know, get that, get that Sylveon on board. Next turn, try to... Try to return the or retreat the routes, not return the routes. <laughs> Actually, a top deck for oh no, we, he had to have a bench for Grisla. Um Don't need to attach any choice bands. It's just excessive. He'll probably just feel blow him off anyway. So we're just gonna pass the turn. Next turn, ideally, we get the we get the routes out the active and Sylveon up there to n do a nice magical ribbon. Oh, okay, and works perfectly. <laughs> we did not need the choice bands at the moment. Rare candy is kind of nice to have, but uh, we definitely wanted a new hand. <laughs> okay, so no energy in this one. That's a bit of a bummer, but we have an end, so we can kind of set up ourselves. He's a little slow down this turn also because he wasn't able to bridge it, so um, in... An uh, awkward situation. We may, like, you know, if we get a perfect hand, we could actually knock this rock rough out right away. What's Crunch do? Or Corner. Defending Pokemon can't retreat. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, let's see. Field Blower worth doing right now? Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna hold the Field Blower. Let's, let's just throw out and see if we can't get in there. Okay, Parallel City, Guzma. 
Huh. A defending Pokemon can't retreat. If I evolve, am I still the defending Pokemon? Uh, I'm interested to see if this makes me still the defending Pokemon. I don't know. Attach. Nope. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I, I figured it made it a new item, but it wasn't, um, you know, sometimes you're not always 100% sure. <clears throat> so we're going to get a nice magical ribbon. Going to grab probably... She'll put that. Let's see, I'm going to probably grab definitely one of these. Maybe an N. Do I want the rare candy? Let's grab an N and then let's actually, you know, let's grab an energy. Yeah. Because, you know, I got him. I got Curly already on the bench, so I don't need to really get the rare candy. I could Guzma next turn to, you know, kind of shift around shift around the bench or you know shift up this Tapu Lele because he's not too big of a threat and like I said Tapu Lele just ended up becoming such a big target in this format especially to Gardevoirs curious to see if he okay he's just gonna grab a rock rough so he he's aware that the the Zorok might not be the best option against Gardevoir what's he is he gonna switch into the Curly? Should have probably should have probably thought that one through because you know like rock can switch to the bench. I don't know. He's gonna leave it out there, just knock it out. That that works for me. I'm okay with that. Promote this. So three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hmm. So we're gonna evolve anyway. Let's see. Twelve. I kind of feel comfortable. Let's set the Parallel City down. You know what? Let's not set the Parallel City. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to make sure I hit energy. So we're going to set the Parallel City down. Not too worried about it. Coming back to... I, I don't think I'm going to need it too much. Definitely want... Uh, no energy. Oh, well. But I do have that. So let's put that here. Let's attach... And let's feel blower now. Let's get that out of here. So 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Not quite knockout, uh, but we put a decent chunk of damage on him. Next turn, he'll only be hitting for 110. He he might have GX'd way too early, in in my personal opinion. Does 50 damage to your opponent's bench Pokemon? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, for each of my items. Okay. I'm like, he didn't heal 50. <laughs> I misread that. <laughs> I thought uh, Dangerous Eyes said, does 50 to each bench Pokemon. That is not what it says. <laughs> um, so, I don't know what he's going to do this turn. We'll, we'll kind of just see. So, Malo, Malo kind of sets up his next turn. Uh, he'll probably put another Lycanroc to be able to set the one up on the bench. Um, other than that, I can't really think of what he's going to do. I'm probably going to drop the Tapu Lele grab, grab an N, just to kind of mess with whatever he's trying to set up over there. Um, it does give him two additional cards, but I think whatever he's put on top is safe enough to not want him to have it on top. I'm actually going to... Should I put that on the... Huh. Okay, so we're just going to attach... Or, uh, sorry, not attach. We're going to play Lele. Grab an N. Do I attach... Who should I attach the energy to? Um, it's kind of a lot of damage on this Gardevoir, so I kind of just want the... I'm actually going to set this Curly on the bench. Because if I get a Max Potion, I'm going to want a Max Potion. So, let's see if I can hit the Gardevoir. Uh, definitely hit a bunch of energy. Actually, eh, 110 doesn't hit, doesn't knock out Delayed. And that Premonition ability might be pretty nice. So, actually just going to evolve it into Glade. Let's hit that Premonition real quick. Okay, 
definitely don't need artillery anytime soon. Um, none of, I don't need any of this. Um, let's see, I guess, ch choice band, energy, Guzma, artillery, no, energy, artillery, man, none of that, none of that felt like, felt very good. <laughs> Uh, can't Guzma this turn, so I'll just take Knockout. Uh, hopefully I disrupted his hand and he's unable to get, um, can I Secret Spring? I can Secret Spring. Let's just throw an Energy onto a Ralts. Just, it, that's probably more aggressive than I need to be, but, you know, let's just throw that out there. Infinite Force. Kinda hoping to hit, um, Max Potion sometime soon here, cause... Uh, I does quite a bit of damage on my Gardevoir. Um, like, let's just see if he gets the Lycan Rock, though. If he doesn't get the Lycan Rock, this game is pretty much over. <laughs> like, I got, I got to take four prizes. There's, there's three prizes to take on board. Uh, he'd have to slowly set up another, another Lycan Rock or even a Zorok if he has something. Um, so I'm I'm pretty certain this game's almost over. Even even with that, um, I know what I'm gonna draw. So it's kind of <laughs> like oh, switching into the Lele. I see. Um, man, that was not that was not the play, bro. Uh, okay. Oh, you can't attack though. I'm tripping. So we're gonna pull out his Lele. We're gonna put my Gardevoir in the active. Um, put a ton of damage on him. Let's see. Let's premonition again. See if that fifth card down is anything worthwhile. Uh, Super Rod might be worth grabbing. Actually, you know what? Let's go. Energy Super Rod. Energy Guzma Octillery. Actually, do I want the Guzma? Uh, I'm actually I might want the Guzma up front. Okay, so let's go Guzma, Super Rod, Energy, Energy Artillery. <laughs> so that way, if he can't get Top of Lele out the active, I can actually grab the Lycan Rock off the bench next turn. Um, because this won't knock it out, right? 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. No, so this doesn't knock out. Um, so I, I kind of want to grab that Lycan Rock off the bench if he takes his turn to try and set it up all the way. Um, oh, Acerola, that's pretty good. Because that way he can play it down, get Sycamore or whatever he, he feels he needs. Um, if he grabs another Mallow, I'll be, I'll be kind of like, why? <laughs> but yeah, Sycamore, Sycamore is the play. Uh, he can't play it this turn, though, because he played Acerola, so... Ugh, maybe a little late, because we know he doesn't have the energy. Um... Let's see... 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I feel that might have hurt him more than anything. Um... Premonition again. Nothing, like... To Lele, but I am so far ahead. I don't feel like going for the Lele is necessary at this point. Just get this knockout, and even with the DC, this game is pretty much over. Uh, I'm a Ultra Ball for for the Gardevoir next turn. Then I'll probably stick a more my hand away because it's not necessary at this point. Just we're just going to try to go for this knockout. Uh, 13, 14. Yeah, unfortunately, Glade just misses that sweet spot of 17. So, I will lose one Gardevoir. No biggie. Uh, second Gardevoir is just going to just wreck town. <laughs> just promote. Draw. Uh, just Ultra Ball. Uh, won't need Guzma, won't need Parallel. Uh, I'm not gonna need a second Sycamore. 
Let's see, grab this. Let's see, how much energy do I have into this card? I'm trying to hit primarily energy, so let's super odd three energy back into the deck. One, two, three. Let's rare candy. Boom. Boom. Throw the parallel city down. Just, just kind of be a dick. <laughs> and Sycamore. Okay, so we're going to be able to secret spring. That's not how I secret spring. And secret spring. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Uh, easy knockout. <laughs> easy knockout. Uh, this was actually a pretty easy game. Uh, felt it was going to be. He definitely did not get the Zoroarks he needed um, to try and kind of filter his hand a bit more. But that's you know that that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. <laughs> so we're gonna probably get one more game in for this video. Eight hundred ten damage. That, like you like I like that they show you the damage because in the old readout you never really paid attention to it. That's quite a bit of damage, if you think about it. But it makes sense, like, everything's got, like, 200 HP in this format. Okay, so it's Fire, Water, Psychic. Looks like I'm playing against Volcanion. <laughs> uh, Volcanion is another matchup that kind of feels favorable for me. Uh, they have trouble hitting that, that sweet spot of 230. Um... So they're kind of taking awkward trades. It's lucky for them they get to go first. Um, so if they get that ho-oh, -oh, they can kind of just set up. Vulpix ain't the best start for us. But I'm not too upset with it. Uh, I do have an N. Ideally, I top deck the top of Lele and go for Bridget. Nope, didn't top deck the N. Or Bridget. Or something. <laughs> Let's see. What do I want to do here? Uh, this feels bad. Let's just place Remoraid. I kind of want to Ultra Ball. So we're going to actually Ultra Ball away this Gallade. Because I definitely want to at least set up a Ralts this turn. Or like have a Ralts on the bench to potentially turn to. Uh, so let's just grab the Ralts. Feels really awkward, but... Uh, I don't see him doing too much damage. He might get this, like, either an N or something to... Okay, that gets him a second Valk, but doesn't give him the Baby Volcanion, which is what he's gonna want to start hurting me with. Um, start filtering out his hand. Uh, he's gonna, I think he's gotta try to play something to, to get the baby Valk, right? Maybe Ho-Oh? No, cause Ho-Oh, he'd want Kiawe this turn. Okay, so he got the baby Valk. Gonna get the free retreat, gonna, gonna smack, smack this Vulpix fairly hard. Um, the real question is, do I just promote the Ralts? Yeah, I think I'm going to promote the Ralts. I want the Remoraid on the bench. Um, let's see. Eevee's not the worst. Let's just stick more of this hand away and get fresh 7. Okay, perfect. Perfect. That was actually a very good. Very good draw for us. Um, no, I already put... Uh, I just kind of want to look through the deck. So we definitely have the Octillery. Sylveon might not come into too big a play here. Uh, got all my Robs, got all my Curlias. Let's see. Ooh. One, two, two of my Rare Candies are priced. Ooh. So those other Robs gonna going to have a tough time. One Ultra Ball prized. Um, one. No. Yeah, both ends are gone. Um, okay, so our prizes aren't too bad. The two rare candy might come back to bite us. Um, 
But that's fine. So we're going to secret spring. Attach. Good thing is another thing on his bench will be able to really hit too hard next turn. And I do... Oh, I'm just 10 shy of the knockout. Oof. Oof. That's... That hurts. That stings a little. <laughs> Man, kind of wish I was able to attach an energy turn one. A little sad. Okay, it's okay. I still think we're in okay place. Um... Man, he has the option to steam up three times. That would hurt. Gonna kind of see how see how bad this turn is for me. Yep. What do you throw? Oh, Ultra Ball. I'm like, why the hell did he throw things away? Um, is he gonna play that? Does he grab Kiawe? No, he wants to put damage. He's gonna grab Sycamore. Yep. So maybe this is pure Volcano. Maybe he doesn't even play the Ho-Oh. Which would mean he doesn't Kiawe at all in this. Ugh, that he's gonna he's gonna hit my Gardevoir for a lot this turn. <laughs> this is gonna get interesting, guys. Because while uh, while Volcanion has some trouble getting to the to the two thirty, it does two shot very effectively. Um, especially with next turn being able to just uh, solo attach, I'm gonna. Oh, man. Throwing away those two energies just doesn't feel good to go get a Sycamore. Uh, I think I kind of got it, though. Let's go grab Tapu Lele to grab a Sycamore. Yeah. Make sure I got all these in the deck. Because <clears throat> I kind of I kind of need to start setting up, which I think getting the seven cards, oh, instead of going for the memory to just kind of get five sounds better. Um... See if we can't get something to, because if we could get energy and the other max potion to save this Gardevoir, that would be amazing right now. <laughs> uh, not quite, but we can we can play this down. This will help a lot. Uh, throw that out there. Let's see. I thought I had to, oh man, I messed up. I thought I attached the energy to Eevee. Why didn't I attach the energy to Eevee? Did I, I just messed up. Uh, throw, oh, I know why. It's, I had to use an Ultra Ball. Uh, do I want an Ultra Ball right now? Kind of. Throw away Ralts and... Choice Bands. Because I kind of want this artillery now. Choice Man might not have been the card to throw away, but it's, you know. I'm going to knock out this Volcanian and, just, you know, get smacked real hard next turn. <laughs> I want to. Oh. Oh. Guys, we're living the dream. Living the dream. Okay, so I can get knockout. Gonna take 130 next turn, so I'm actually just gonna attach. So next turn, hopefully, I can just take knockout on one of the Volcanians. Also, oh, my explosion feels so good. <laughs> oh, rare candies to get pulled too off them prizes, which makes sense. You know, I had a 30% well 33.30 repeating chance of getting it, uh, so that makes sense. Whew. So, let's see. I'm going to take 160, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, tw no, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 9, 20, 21, 22. 
So Max, he'd be able to do is 22 to this guard before. Oh, 23, 24, 25. So he has to have 3 energy and he can knock out Guard of War GX. Which, eh, seems like a stretch. Um, we'll see though. Uh, he played an enemy, which is, uh, oh yeah, he actually had to attach anyway, so. Uh, he would have had a 4 energy to be able to knock this out. Uh, super unlikely. Uh, he kind of put me on not too awkward of a hand, but not, not the hand I'd want. Um. We're gonna evolve up this Curlia. Let's see, we're just gonna field blower all of his nonsense. Do I kind of, uh, yeah, let's get rid of this float. So let's lop some. Like I was thinking, Brooklyn Hill might be worth getting rid of, but so let's see: three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, four, fifteen, six, seventeen, eighteen. So this thing is not surviving. Let's attach here. Uh, I can Ultra Ball and throw both those away, but I kind of like those cards. So let's just Abyssal Hand for two. Part of me wants to get another... Oh, sweet. We are in a pretty okay place right now. Next turn, we're... Okay, he just... <laughs> he realizes he is not in the best place. He's about to lose a Volcanian. And, uh, yeah, from that point on, it's all uphill battle for him. He might be able to take knockout, but I'm, I got set up pretty nicely. Alrighty. So, that's a couple games with this deck. Um, shows off why certain cards are pretty good in the format, or in this build. So, I think I did, I think I did a good job showcasing the deck. Uh, hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.